Coming up on today's episode of AMA Drone Report, Unique introduces all new portable folding drone. Amazon Drone comes to National Aerospace Museum. And Coffee Drones proposed by IBM. Hello, I'm Laura Hudson. Welcome to Airborne's AMA Drone Report on Aero TV, a weekly news program covering the recreational drone world in partnership with the Academy of Model Aeronautics, one of the oldest and most respected aviation organizations in the world, with more than 200,000 members and 2,400 clubs across the country. Unique has introduced the new Mantis Q, an adventure ready drone controlled via mobile device or remote. The Mantis Q features foldable arms for optimal portability and convenience. Up to 33 minutes of battery life in autonomous flight modes with top speeds over 44 miles per hour. With the all-new voice control feature, users command Mantis Q just by using their voice. Voice control allows users to take a photo or begin recording video, all without having to take their hands off of the controls. The Mantis Q also includes facial detection and gesture control. The Mantis Q records high-resolution photos and videos with a resolution of 4800 by 2700 or 4160 by 3120 pixels. Full HD video is electronically stabilized, while the camera can be tilted upwards by up to 20 degrees or downwards by 90 degrees. The Mantis Q also comes with automatic flight modes such as Journey, Point of Interest, and Orbit Me. The drone can stay in the air for up to 33 minutes and weighs barely a pound. In sport mode, the drone is FPV race capable. Mantis Q is available for pre-order for $499.99 and includes the Mantis Q, controller, one battery, spare propellers, three-port charger, power, and USB cable. In the next show minute, let's take a brief look at a few of the shorter stories that are making the rounds of the small UAS and hobby drone communities. An online petition has been created that seeks to keep Rule 336 and the FAA Modernization and Reform Act from being modified or repealed in the current version of the FAA Authorization Bill under consideration by lawmakers. Drones are being used in an experiment being conducted by the Choctaw Nation in central Oklahoma to combat crop damage caused by wild pigs in the state. Wild pigs can cause about $2 billion in crop damage each year. As part of the FAA's drone pilot program, the aircraft are being used to drop corn into traps used to capture the animals. The FAA has authorized flights at night and beyond visual line of sight to carry out the experiment. Danville Community College students got a bird's eye view of the world earlier this month, thanks to the college's new drone UAS class. Twelve students joined DCC instructor Steve Kerrigan for a three-hour introductory training session at the college on Friday, August 10th, and then got to stretch their wings on Saturday during the hands-on portion at a remote site in Pennsylvania County. At the state and local level, AMA continues to engage with legislators on problematic bills in various states. In Ohio, House Bill 685 would further the airspace and impose record-keeping requirements that would burden UAS retailers and operators. AMA has been working with the bill's sponsor since June, and it is not expected to move through committee. In Wisconsin, a committee meeting in Middleton listed drone regulation on their agenda. AMA engaged with the committee members to offer guidance and resources, and do not anticipate additional regulations. That was our Draw Minute, now back to the rest of the news. 100 years ago, airmail delivery was new and a novelty. A century later, vertical takeoff and landing drones have taken the mantle as a potential new generation of air delivery. The story of this emerging technology will be a cornerstone of a new Thomas W. Hawes We All Fly Gallery, a new exhibition that is part of the ongoing reimagining of the museum. 
the museum is excited to feature an example of Amazon's work in the autonomous aerial delivery field, the Amazon Prime Air Hybrid Drone. Amazon's Prime Air Hybrid Drone rises vertically to nearly 400 feet and can fly for over 10 miles from an Amazon warehouse to a customer's backyard. This particular demonstration model takes off and lands vertically, but travels to its destination horizontally. Amazon is currently testing different drone designs for use in different environments. Amazon's drone will be on display as an example of how personal and commercial drones have the potential to reshape our everyday lives. There's little doubt that the drone revolution will affect us all on a number of levels, but now it appears that UAVs could have a significant impact on the all-American coffee break. IBM has reportedly nailed down a patent that may not only deliver coffee in the not-too-distant future, it may also determine when you need a cup before you ask. In paperwork filed with the United States Patent and Trademark Office, IBM's patent relates to a system and a method for using drones to deliver a drink to an individual, and more particularly sensing a predetermined cognitive state of an individual to identify a candidate for delivery of a drink. IBM states quick and easy delivery of drinks is a new way of service around the world. Drone technology has increased to support delivery of packages around the world. Drone technology can also assist in customer service areas. Drones that are functioned to deliver products have yet to deliver beverages based on the person being served to. They even believe that they can ascertain how long a group has been talking and the mood of the conversation to see whether individuals are in need of a drink. Sensors on the drones will compile data from wearable technology, cameras, and biometric sensors and use this and other data to determine when you're ready for another cup. Well, that's our program for this week. Airborne's AMA Drone Report is presented weekly in cooperation with the Academy of Model Aeronautics. In addition to this program are Airborne Unlimited episodes covering the entire aviation and aerospace world are streamed on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday with additional breaking news bulletins for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. If you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe and do check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net and more information on the exciting hobby drone world at modelaircraft.org. We'll see you next week.